Hello and welcome back. Um, so we're in Whitechapel with Watson and totally confused, but yes, I have checked on what to do. And it turns out that, oh my gosh, look at the stove. What? These footprints are the same as those found on the rug at the brothel. <gasps> but, 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 what? What can I do for you, my dear colleague? Pardon me, Doctor, but who made the large black footprints there, near the beds? The brother of one of my patients. The poor thing had a leg amputated after colliding with a carriage. We arranged to find her a prosthesis. Prostheses are very expensive. How did this man pay? He told me that one of his uncles gave him a walking stick with a chiselled silver knob. I agreed to accept this knob in exchange for a simple prosthesis with harness. But this object is of great value and I could finance half a dozen other prostheses by selling it on Petticoat Lane. Doctor, I have reason to believe that the silver knob that you possess is from a cane that was stolen by the man who brought it to you. And I believe I know to whom it belongs. That's what I was worried about. The story of the uncle seemed a little strange. Nevertheless, you must have proof of what you claim. I will show you all of the knobs that we have here. If you find the knob that the young man gave me, I will believe you. Okay. So be it, but something is bothering me. I will need a complete cane, not just a knob. Don't worry, dear chap. Build one. I can loan you some tools. Make use of the odds and ends in my cupboard. It'll help get rid of it. Hmm. Well, I shall try. I will have to remember the description that Sickert gave. Goodbye, Dr. Gibbons. Until we meet again, my dear colleague. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Now... Oh, here we go. Okay, it was 35 inches, ebony. Uh, so it would be that one. Uh, wait, are these inches? If these are inches, then 35 is very short. Oh wait, ebony is black though, right? Yeah, I think so. And... Uh... Mm hmm... Here we go. Ebony, 35 inches long. The round knob is made from chiseled silver. I presume that means that you've done something with it. With a ring around the middle of the same workmanship, just like the tip for that matter. So I'm going to presume it's this one. The ring around it. And the tip is the same. It looks the same. And... There, all done. Holmes couldn't have done better himself. What can I do for you, my dear colleague? I believe I found the knob from the stolen cane, which I succeeded in putting back together. That's the one. And yet I cannot give it to you, Doctor. I will only return it to the police, and only if there is an official complaint against me. Would there be a way to convince you to give me the cane? Find me a dozen solid, adjustable harnesses for wooden leg prostheses, and it's yours, Doctor. Goodbye, Dr. Gibbons. Until we meet again, my dear colleague. Okie dokie. Well, we have a purpose, or whatever. Um, okay. I don't know, we'll just ask around, I guess. What do you want, Doctor? Thank you, Finley. No, That's not a lot. Ew, flight. Um... Maybe. Yes, Dr. Watson? Thank you, ma'am. No. 
problem. Okay. Loosen your belt, my friend. You're in Whitechapel. These girls would die of hunger if we weren't here. Ah, oh, so that's how you sleep at night, is it? Well, goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Nah. Funny you are. I'm uh, presuming yes, sir. Mary doesn't know anything. Until next no. time, miss. Nope. Um. Alright, so we're seriously gonna find ourselves some harnesses? Of course we are. Some news, Doctor? Well, goodbye. Uh, right. Okay. Hmm. Closed. Can we build some in the clinic? I don't even know. Yeah, this is why I don't play a lot of adventure games, because I'm not good at them. Like now, I have zero idea, and to my mind, I've been everywhere, i looked at everything, and there's nothing here, you know. But, uh, I mean, apparently I haven't, because you're supposed to be able to do this, and I'm failing, so clearly I'm missing something. Anyways, um, okay, so apparently we are supposed to do this. There's nobody here. How very odd. It's only not closed anymore because I was supposed to know that. I don't even know. I say, these things look like harnesses. Oh my, they are noisy. Good evening, sir. Pardon the interruption. The door was open. I didn't think that I would find anyone working at this hour. Good evening, sir. I didn't hear you come in. Say, those things that made noise, they are really harnesses, aren't they? Yes, horse harnesses. But I must tell you, sir, that the store is normally closed at this hour. That is why I've asked you to return tomorrow. I didn't come about my shoes. I came to speak of a cobbler, perhaps one of your former employees? A man with very particular habits. You aren't with the police by any chance. I'm sorry, but I do not want to speak of anything but shoes with you. I am not a policeman. I am Dr. Watson. It's Mr. Finley who told me that you might be in a position to inform me. Ah, that Mr. Finley is a very brave man. And if he sent you, then you must certainly be a worthy man also. So, Doctor, who is this cobbler with strange habits? The man of whom I speak is called Pizer or Pyther, a man with a frightening face. Do you know him? Yes, John Pizer. He worked here for a while, but he is no longer here. Do you know where I can find him? No, and if you look, you will not find him. Why? Because he is in hiding, Doctor. You see, a week ago, a horrible murder took place in the neighborhood. A rumor circulated that he might have been responsible for this crime. They say he has quarreled with women of certain virtue in the past, if you understand me. Do you know where I can find him? Oh my gosh, I didn't no. mean to click Why? it. No, because no, no. Isaac, it is about the Bucks Road case that I have come to see you. I have the certitude and an incontestable witness that Pizer is innocent, at least of this crime, although he has attacked a number of street women. If he doesn't come forward to explain himself to the authorities, he is condemned to hiding and to take the fall for this murder. Furthermore, it will cast suspicions on your community because they must be hiding him. And while the whole police force is hunting for him, they cannot concentrate on the real assassin who roams the streets and, one never knows, may take any one of you any day. If what you say is true, your visit is a godsend to our community, Doctor. 
I tell you something. I know Sergeant Thick, an honest policeman who lives in the area. I'll tell John's family that he must go there to explain himself. But if you could please go as soon as possible to the police to give them this report that you say is incontestable. I will go as soon as I take leave of you. Thank you. If I can ever be of service in any way, do not hesitate to ask. Ah, uh, yeah! Could we transform your horse harnesses into harnesses for wooden legs? Adjustable harnesses. A good craftsman can do anything, Doctor. And I do believe that's what I am. Come back in a while and it will be done. That will be my thanks for what you have done. Whee! I shall return later. At your convenience, sir. Ah, I am spent. I would like to return home. But I promised to go to the police as soon as I could. Now then, let's go to the police station. Okay. Good. Cobbler shop. No, no, no. Police station over here. Will you? Yes. Hey, Doctor. You seem tired. Were you wandering the darker parts of Whitechapel all night? You could say that. I have some information on Leather Apron, the man of whom we spoke earlier. Do you know where he is? No, but I can clear him of the Bucks Row crime. A witness proved him totally innocent. Oh, Watson, Watson, is it only now, after many hours of walking, that you decide to pass on the important message that Inspector Abilene is waiting for? But, um, no. But what are you doing here, Holmes? I was worried, Watson, and with good reason it would appear. Go give the message to this policeman and let's go home. Nobody appreciates me hanging around here, you know, and it's freezing cold. Ah, Cradle, none too soon. You will take the testimony of this... No, you continue with your duty shift. I must find Chowder in Ambry Street. He's struck again. Who? The murderer. The Bucks Row assassin. Hanbury Street. Let's go, Watson. We have no time to lose. Ah, <gasps> Lord. Where is Hanbury Street then? Uh, no idea. It could be right outside, I guess. Hanbury Street. Let's go, Watson. We have no time to lose. Yes, yes, yes. I don't even know where it is. I have no reason to go that way. I don't even know where you want to go, dude. I have no reason to go that way. Okay. I have no reason to go that way. 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 Okay, so how exactly do you think that we're going to get to this place, Mr. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay, first of all, how was I supposed to see that? Secondly, that's very far. Hanbury Street. Let's go, Watson. We have no time to lose. Okay. Oh. I'm in charge. You control Sherlock Holmes. Hey, Watson. Ooh, you have. I mean, the design is the same as Lucy's, but I like your. I like your uh, colors. You can go in, Mr. Holmes. She's there. We didn't touch a thing. Oh, inside here. Okay. In cat's meat. Sounds like it could be the neighbor of um, Mrs. Lovett. It was very good of PC Chandler to let us pass. He said no one has touched the corpse. It's the perfect opportunity for us to put our skills to the test. Watson, let's not waste it. Okie dokie. London, 28th August, 1888. Something, something. 
a torn envelope. It smells of rubbing alcohol. It contains three pills. I will take one. Two should suffice for the police. Okay. The envelope was brought out by the victim. The envelope drifted near the head. The victim wanted to give an envelope to the killer. Maybe. Envelope fell during the murder. A, a Chapman was holding an envelope in her hand. Chapman's killer. She was holding an envelope in her hand. Okay. So, Doctor, shall we examine our victim? Ah, oh, I'm tired, Holmes. I'm not sure if I am in a state to do this work. Come, Watson, there is little time. Show me what you're made of. Flesh and blood. Oh, my God. Pray, Watson, pull yourself together. Can you establish the time of the crime? The extremities of the corpse are cold and rigor mortis is beginning to set in. I would say that the murder was committed over two hours ago, before 4.30 a.m. Okay. Let's look at this poor woman more closely. <sighs> it's all in 2D. Look at her neck. What can you tell me? There are two incisions. The tongue is swollen. A bruise. The victim's face appears to have bruising, wouldn't you say? Under the maxilla and cheek. There is less on the right side. Okay, uh, close. Now, let's look at the stomach, or at least what remains of it. It's dreadful, Holmes. Who could do that to someone? That's what you're here for, Watson. Tell me what this man has done. The stomach has been entirely opened and... Oh, my God! A number of organs have been removed. So, you're telling me that the organs were removed, Watson. They weren't ripped out. Not at all, Holmes. On the contrary, this is clearly the work of an expert. I couldn't have done any better myself. And the uterus is missing. Yum, yum, yum. Or something, I don't know. Looky here. It would seem he has a mark on his left hand. He? The victim must have worn a large ring, or several little ones, and someone pulled them off forcefully. This detail will be very valuable, Watson. You can be sure of that. Okay, apparently there's nothing more. <sighs> what are we doing, Holmes? We're looking at a poor dead woman. There are no trails on the ground. There's no sign of a struggle. Or a poor dead person. Yeah. Well. No. Let me examine this. Let me examine the wall, stupid. This fence separates the courtyard from the neighbors, 27 Hanbury Street. Why won't you let me look at the wall? I want to look at the blood on the wall. There we go. A piece of coarse muslin. Two combs, curiously arranged. No, stop. Um, apparently we cannot look at the blood. It would seem. May I please look at the blood on the wall? No. This door must lead to the cellar. The latch has been recently repaired. Okay. This apron is soaked with water and has left a clear mark on the ground. It must have been left in water for several hours and has been there for some time. We'll look around. What a stench! Nobody is hiding inside. Okay. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Okay. 
Okay. So, tell me, Holmes, how am I supposed to look at this blood? You won't let me look at the blood! Okay. Deduction. Okay, what's happening here? Neither footsteps nor streaks of blood on the ground. Killer blurred the traces. The victim wasn't dragged. The victim was bru has bruises around the jaw, right jawbone and beneath the left cheek. Held the victim's chin with his left hand. Tongue is bloated. The victim was strangled. The victim was thirsty. No, the victim was strangled. The items at the victim's feet are very orderly. Belong to the victim. A Chapman struggled greatly, possesses some feminine items. The murderer searched a Chapman. Uh, murderer likes combs, is unfeeling and organized, panicked. Body's cold at, at the extremities and rigor mortis is barely started. Uh, before 4.30 a.m. Nope. Barely two hours ago. Okay. Recent large scrape on the first phalanx of the middle finger. Uh, the murderer stole her rings. There's an incision from the left to the... Right to the left, going from around the neck. There's an incision on the neck from the right side, stopping in the middle of the throat. The wound around the neck is jerky and not all in one piece. Bad knife. I would... No, a bad knife, I would say. Organs are missing. The uterus was removed by the hands of an expert. The killer used a weapon of great size. Didn't use weapons. Used a knife with a short, supple blade. Ah, uh, okay, I used a weapon of great size. Drew marks on her neck, wanted to remove the glottis, wanted to decapitate her. Wanted to decapitate her, there we go. Um, you just was ripped out, was removed and taken. The killer has knowledge on anatomy. The killer lost the uterus. The killer went at it with a fury. He has the knowledge of anatomy. But... I think there's something we're missing right now here. And... I want it to be the blood on the wall, but you won't let me look at it. Because I'm seriously cooking the blood on the wall. They won't let me look at it! Game. Okay, Holmes. What is your problem? Look at this. Look at this blood. No! No! You idiot. What do you think, Holmes? I think that the game won't let me look at the interesting stuff. I think we need the blood, but like... There's no way to get to it. <laughs> I don't see anywhere else we haven't clicked. Oh, here! We can do this! Oh, yeah! Oh, this is good. Wait, here's something. Oh, there's blood! But we also cannot look at... Oh, game. Game. What is your game? Seriously. Like, look at this. I need to look at the blood splatter. Why you no let me look at blood? Like, I'm pretty sure I need to look at blood, okay? I'm standing at blood. I'm looking at blood. Look, 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 look. Boom. We're back here. Like, no. Now let's look at the stomach. 
That's what said. Okay. Looky here. It. Yeah. Yeah. We're clearly missing something. And I'm just gonna go with we're missing the blood. But I don't know how we how we even see the blood at this point because from here there's nothing more for us to look at. What shall we do, Holmes? We should look at the blood. Watson. I think it, we we need it here. I don't know how to do this. It's like, like dude. Just let me. <laughs> I promise I can't. So that's just that. Like there's nothing over here. Look at her neck. What could that the tongue is swollen. Yeah, there's nothing more here. <sighs> Looky here. It would. Mm hmm. The victim must have worn a. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, uh, I don't know. Are we stuck? Or, like, what, what's happening? What's happening? I think we're stuck for now. It's like. Dude. Okay, so I think that we have managed to glitch the game and that you have to look at the blood before you uncover her. Because you are supposed to look at both of these blood spots, but we have already uncovered her, so we're kind of screwed. Uh. Well, I have saved a couple times, so I might have to... Okay. Uh, right. I might have to replay a bit. Okay, okay, never mind. Ta-da, we're back. Yeah, yeah, I know we've seen this, but... We'll look at it again. We. It was very good of PC Chandler to let us pass. There we go. All right, let's first of all save here, and then we're gonna go look at some blood. Save. Yeah. Uh, back. Okay. Now we're gonna go look at some blood. Apparently not. Oh my god, game! Look, get, let me look at the stupid blood on the wall! It's not gonna let me look at the stupid blood on the wall. A torn envelope. It smells of rubbing alcohol. It contains three pills. I will take one. Two should suffice for the police. Uh huh? A piece of coarse muslin. Two combs, curiously arranged. There are no trails on the ground. There's no sign of a struggle. Okay, my theory was wrong, but I am su like, according to the walkthrough, you you are supposed to look at the stupid blood on the wall. Uh, right. You know what we'll do. We'll take a little break here, and I'll try to figure out how to do this. Um, yeah. Cool. Good. Thanks, Holmes. Thanks. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see ya.